right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. inside the octagon. Good. All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Oh, nice kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. And do a work with the jab. It's blocked. Oh, is that a good right hand? Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, inside kick. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, lands a nice straight. Caught that kick there. Both guys appeared to land there. So more output on this team really going. Front kick. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Clean punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you gotta think. Oh! kick lands for him. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Got a bad spot for that cut right on the lip. Broke him open. Big knee there. 
just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, well, why get away from it? Another huge kick lands. Back to the hook now. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Left hand is on point. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is this takedown defense? Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. And plenty of time with which to work, 30 seconds to go in the round. Superman punch. 20 seconds left. Strong kick there. First round winding down here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round, of which there were a lot, including the strike that we believe was the one that opened up his lip. He opened up a cut on the lip. It's bleeding pretty good. It's not in a horrible spot, though. It will hurt whenever he gets punched on the lip again, but it's not under the eye, it's not on the brow. He can get through this. He's just got to be a little more careful. And he told us in the fighter meeting he likes the taste of his own blood, so that helps get, things a little bit. He's going to get a lot of things, he's going to get a lot of it now then. All right, next round is underway. We will continue to monitor that storyline moving forward. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice hit. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high. I gotta think when you knock the fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Out of range with that. side control. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? In the half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Might be a submission attempt here. Jim. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he 
has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Nice punch there. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, and you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bell. Two minutes now to go. Nice leg kick. Big right hook coming. It's Left hook there. Leg kick lands. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Unable to land with that punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice punch to the head. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He gets to the single collar time. Look at the wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Real quick leg kick. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Oh, oh he's hurt, he's hurt. Fifteen seconds. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out but you gotta like the output on display here two rounds in the books what a round it was for him dc and of course the seminal moment that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round how does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish. You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it shows that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Oh, that's it. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Doing work with the jab there. Oh. Oh, you heard him again, bro. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Kick to the body now. Well, MMA is a constant exercise of risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. 
He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised. Oh, man. Nice super punch. Devastated body to land. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. There it is, now he's going to mount. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Mm, that was nice. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Oh, right into Mount. I'll stop this. You're gonna fight back. Under two minutes now to go. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grapple exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Oh. Oh. oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. This is a terrible position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands the ground and pound strike. Right champ starting. Oh, the celebration is on. One of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Asa. Well, DC, you know how my.